they've changed how you can relink your media within DaVinci Resolve. This is not just the studio version. This is for the free version as well. I don't know why they did it. It's not that complicated. They just, they move some stuff around without telling us. At least I didn't see it on the videos when I was trying to research it. So I will show you how to do that now. So it's very, very simple. You're still going to right click just like you normally would on any other DaVinci Resolve. Instead of being at the bottom, it used to be right here. If you remember, if you're on the previous version, you want to actually go up to the clip operations. When you're inside the clip operations, this will give you all those options just like I had in the previous video. So the create bin will select the clips, replay select the clip, unlink select the clips, relink, kind of get the picture. These all do different things based upon what you need. So if you're going to relink it, uh, for those that have not watched my previous video, just click the reselect and you can go into your folder and files and reselect where your clip was previously. Now, if you ever have any issues with trying to find that, as you select your clip, if you notice when I click this, it actually moves around. This little portion right here will change. So if I go over to this clip, it changes. If I click back on this one, it changes again. It tells you where that clip was previously on the hard drive and stored inside the cache. So this tells me that this was stored inside of my gold or my 18 terabyte, blah, blah, blah. It's right there. So if I ever need to find it, I go to relink and I go to, oh, I almost did it again. I'm looking for the bottom, but go to clip operations, relink, select the clips. And I can walk through this thing right here and actually go and find it a lot easier without having to think, oh crap, where did I save in my 20,000 terabytes worth of data? I can find that very, very easily. So great. I don't know why they, why they moved it um but they did for whatever reason so like this clip i changed the name of it that's why you would actually replace the select the clip and so i'm actually having to replace it with the clip with a different name i'm not trying to confuse you guys um but yeah you can unselect it you can relink it it's all through here inside the clip operations keep in mind this is the first time i've seen it change i use davinci like for youtube obviously for but also for clientele i don't know why and they didn't tell us but there it is if you guys had this headache, sorry they did this to us, um, but please send the video out to different people, any friends, family, whoever's working on different projects. Let them know that this is a change because otherwise they will never know and they will be agitated and feel like they need to go step down to the other version and lose all the cool features that we have now in 20. So please send this to them. And with that, I will be out. Hope you guys are having a great day. If they change this, I'll be back again in 2020, whatever, or maybe 2030, two thousand three hundred whatever <sighs> i need some food man